today, as you can see this big bowl of chicken, we are going to do jerk chicken. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it on the in-house grill or out-house grill. I'm kind of just really preparing for 4th of July barbecue with my family. So, I'm going to season the chicken today and then on the 4th we cook it. So, on the 4th you'll get, or on the 5th you'll get the full video. But, um... Today I'm just going to show you how to prepare it and then we're going to leave it in the fridge and marinate for a few days and then when the fourth come we do it up. You know what I mean? We do it up. We do it up. Anyways, before we get into this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, leave a notification, click your notification button. I leave, right? Don't leave. Don't leave. Please don't leave me in here. Click your notification button and leave a hopeful comment down below and tell me what you think about my recipes or my videos thus far because if you're watching this one that means you you watched another one right and you're gonna click on another one right because you like your girl right yeah all right so click into the next video after this one is over but for right now stay tuned so let's get into the video so i am going to wash my hands so you guys as you can already see the chicken is already clean if you want to see how to clean your meat I have a video on that so I'm just gonna get into getting the seasoning on so you guys I have my own homemade jerk seasoning which I'm gonna use some of this and a couple others a couple others in there so if you don't make your own homemade you can actually use whichever one which any any of the other ones that I got so I'm gonna it's a lot of meat you guys so I'm gonna put my homemade one is good honey it is good so I'm just gonna put like three tablespoons of that one and then you have your um, Jamaican choice original jerk seasoning mild <laughs> I don't like pepper this one is mild but this one isn't so we'll see how it all end up so this one you guys have tasted this one so this one is a lot spicy uh, mild it's not spicy sorry it's mild but it's a little bit salty so you know I'm putting two three tablespoons of this one um, in here so this one has is a little bit more salty and then I have the, and I love Blue Mountain brand so, brand, so, brand so far. So you have the Blue Mountain Jamaican Jerk Marinade. And I'm going to put some of this in there as well. So now you know it's like 50 different seasonings. The one this is going to be nice. So I'm just pouring that on there. all-purpose seasoning pour that on there I'm gonna put some onion powder it's a lot of chicken you guys you gotta make sure this seasoning is it's well seasoned some garlic powder And you guys, I have my own homemade jerk powder seasoning. So I made this, I made this um, myself. So I'm gonna use some of the powder seasoning in there. So that was like two and a half tablespoons. And then all we're gonna do is rub it in. So let me get some. Let me get some gloves, and we're gonna take our time, you guys, because it's a lot of chicken in here, and we're just gonna massage it into the chicken, you guys. So we know it's nice, and take off all that seasoning off the spoon. We're gonna clean that bad boy, and then we're gonna massage everything into the chicken, you guys. 
and then we're gonna leave this to sit. Well, today is, what is today? Today is Thursday, you guys. Today is Thursday, and 4th of July is Saturday. I'm just pouring out whatever excess water that was in here. Um, 4th of July is Saturday, so it's gonna be marinating in the fridge for at least the next two days to get all that seasoning in there. So you guys, this is the finishing touch on how to marinate your chicken. Um, once you finish marinating your chicken, you leave it in the fridge to marinate for, to soak or marinate for over, for 24 to 48 hours. And then you can do it on the in-house grill or the outhouse grill. Any which one you do it on, your chicken will be amazing. It's just you're gonna get that nice smoked flavor from the outhouse grill but you can always use other stuff to get that smoke flavor, I'm just saying. And um, yes, I will see you guys on the, on the second part of this video when we get in ready to cook this. Okay, we're back with the grilled chicken and we gonna put it on the grill and let it stay on the grill. Cause it's 4th of July and we feel like barbecue up in here. No, you're not getting open. Okay, you guys. Look at all that spice on that chicken. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. The chicken been on the grill for about 20 minutes now, and we're gonna turn them and look how we're in thus far. Okay. So you guys, this is what we have done so far. So smoking up the grill a little bit. This is what we have so far. So we're gonna leave it, let it cook a little bit longer, and I'll come back with the ending results, you guys. So we've been having the grill, the chicken on the grill for a little minute now. And we're gonna go in and check back to see how we're doing with the chicken, okay? So join me. Woo! Woo, you guys. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good, you guys. And look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken, you guys. Chicken looks. So good. Bring it here. Looking so good, you guys. Oh my god. So you guys, another like 20 minutes. Another 20 minutes on the chicken. And we should be good to go. So the next time you see me, we're gonna be chopping it up. I'll see you on the next video. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna check back in on our chicken and see how we're doing, okay? Okay, you guys. So there is two ways to check your chicken to see if it's done. You use your thermometer. If it's at 165 degrees or higher, you know your chicken is done. Or you can use it the old-fashioned Jamaican way where you just stick it and when the juices come out of it if the juices is um, red then you know the chicken is still bleeding it's not cooked if the juices is clear you know your chicken is cooked and ready to go see your juices coming out you guys your juices is clear oh, yeah. Juices is clear, you guys. So you know the chicken cook. You know your chicken cook. So it's 
more kids can you guys. <laughs> You guys, take the chicken off. <laughs> <laughs> we got a thief in our midst, you guys. We have a thief in our midst, so we're going to chop up the chicken. You can't chop on your chicken? It's not a book. Look, you guys, look at this chicken. Nice and cooked. Nice and cooked, you guys. Nice and cooked. And hey, you guys, you're gonna add fire. So you guys, I'm going to add up my barbecue sauce. Now I specially made this barbecue sauce. So if you want the recipe, send me a comment down below and I'll tell you guys what's in it. Add up barbecue sauce on there, you guys. It has pepper in there, you guys. So every time this is going to block the sauce. Add the barbecue sauce, you guys, and your chicken is good to go, ready to eat. And there you go, you guys. Barbecue grilled chicken up in here. Jerk chicken, you guys, with barbecue sauce. Okay, you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a, click a notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Especially if you want to know what's in my sauce. I'm going to tell you right now, my sauce tastes good. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.